good morning <laughs> so today is my birthday celebration all of my friends are coming together to celebrate my birthday oh my gosh i'm so excited but um yeah so what time is it it's 8 48 i laid in the bed for 48 minutes because i was damn sure up at eight o'clock <laughs> um i was just on my phone and stuff i didn't sleep with the scarf on or anything like i ever do but anyways girl my edges is done for so i'm gonna need to tap those um while i'm getting ready y'all i almost had the worst night ever <laughs> I, I woke up at like four o'clock only to realize that i started my cycle and i'm like really like on the day that i'm supposed to be turning up having fun just no worries in the world just with my girls having fun and this is what you present me with mother nature like really we couldn't do this tomorrow we couldn't do this tomorrow okay but it's okay because we gonna get through this you see the tylenol right there on my nightstand i'm not playing okay i'm not trying to have no problems today i'm trying to have fun i'm just trying to live my best life today <laughs> Whew. okay so i'm up and i have my hair like in this little bun and i like put a clip in it to like i don't know just to have it still nice or whatever but i guess i was sweating again last night um so as you guys know i got my ouch Ooh, my edges is nappy so as you guys know, I got my second shot on Friday, it's Sunday. So Saturday, well Friday night was rough. Saturday morning was rough. Um, but I felt fine really all throughout Saturday. People really made it seem like I was gonna be down for the count and just pretty much a vegetable for the whole day. And I was fine, like I did pretty good. So I got my hair done on Friday. I left there at like six and when I was leaving, I was yawning so much. I was so tired. So when I got home, I just pretty much like laid down or whatever. And that's when my body started to feel a little tight. And I was like, okay, like I feel a little bit sore. Like maybe it is the shot or whatever. So I just laid down and I was like, okay, well, let's just get ready to like do what everybody else is saying is going to happen. Like all these horror stories and stuff. So I'm like, you know what? I'm ready. So... I went to sleep. I don't even know what time. I know it was super early though. And I woke up at like, I think it was like 3 a.m. or something like that. And I felt like I got hit by a freaking truck, like a Mack truck, and then a train, and then a bus, and then a car, and then a motorcycle, and then ran over by somebody on a bike. Like it was, I may be exaggerating, but like I was sore, okay? It really felt like I got hit by a car or something. So, yeah, then I crawled and I went to go get the Tylenol out of the kitchen cabinet and then I took some, went back to sleep, woke up at like, I want to say 9 a.m. And then I was fine. Like, I was literally fine throughout the whole day. I was like, oh, that's it. So, while I'm grateful that I didn't have those horror stories like everybody was saying I would have, um, I was bored yesterday because I didn't plan anything because I really thought I was going to be like half dead so i didn't plan anything for my birthday yesterday so i was just sitting in the house bored i actually ended up just working a little bit and then also i got up and went to the mall towards the end of the time that the mall was um open just because i didn't want to run into millions of people and i went to get my watch size so he took a link out of my watch so it will fit a little bit better today and then i also went to zara and i was looking for a specific shirt so i went ahead and picked that up um because actually what's funny is when i first got my outfit for um for my birthday the weather said it was going to be 72 and possibly raining so i'm dressing for the occasion okay then yesterday literally yesterday now it says it's gonna be 86 degrees i said oh my god my dress is long sleeve what the heck am i gonna do i'm not trying to be sweating and wet and just no not on my birthday child like i need to take pictures i think i'm gonna take pictures before everything just in case i it does get like hot as fuck out of nowhere and i start sweating but um yeah because one thing i do is sweat sis like if it's hot i'm sweating you know what's funny i was thinking about getting botox in my armpits 
<laughs> this is probably just not even okay let me get up and get ready so really quick let me show you guys my new silk pillowcases so you guys were tripping in my morning routine video when my hair looked pretty much perfect when I woke up which is not usually what goes on I just forgot to take my hair out of the bun that it was in which I hate sleeping with my hair in a bun but I think I just fell asleep and didn't even knew I fell asleep and then woke up and then just decided to film that video but I got new silk pillowcases and I am in love like oh my gosh these are so much better than the ones that I had before but these are from Lily Silk and y'all when I tell you the quality of this is so good, it feels amazing. It's way more silkier and smoother than the ones that I got off of Amazon. Like you can kind of tell that I got my other ones off of Amazon and these just feel a lot more luxurious. Shout out to Lily Silk for sending over these pillowcases. So as you can see, this one over here is a lot more dull and not as silky looking as this one. Like look how smooth this looks compared to this one. So they sent over two pillowcases, but I wanted to keep the other one on to show you guys the difference. And they also sent over some other goodies as well. So let me show you what they sent. So they sent over some silk scrunchies, which are so much better for your hair than the other type of scrunchies. So I would normally just like sleep in these. I actually had one on yesterday, like all day yesterday, and I really, really liked it. It just kind of provided more slip against my hair instead of just really constricting my hair like the other scrunchies do. So... I got a bunch of colors and I really, really like these. These are, I think the medium ones. I'll link the ones that I got down below. And then here's the other color that I was wearing yesterday. I had it in the bathroom because, you know, I was wearing it all day. They also have clothing as well, like tops, like very beautiful silk tops and dresses and stuff like that. So I went ahead and picked up this like steel gray silk dress and i think it is so beautiful like this could easily be just a lounge around the house piece or you can wear it out i mean i've seen a lot of people wear like slip um silk slips out just with like some strappy heels or something like for a date night i feel like this is so beautiful and i just love the gray color i don't have any dresses this color and then the back has this v-neck situation oh my gosh so pretty i just love everything about this and it does kind of flow at the end i don't know if you guys could tell but yes this is so beautiful and then my favorite y'all know pajamas okay so i actually don't have any silk pajamas so i was really excited when they had these at their sister brand this is their sister brand here so i got this in a size large and oh my gosh i cannot wait to wear this i think i want to wear this today <laughs> like as i'm getting ready just a very like super comfortable pajama situation so these are their white silk pajamas with the black accents on the sleeve. And then these are the pants and they have the black accent all the way on the side, all the way down. And then at the bottom, they create kind of like a cuff with the black accent. So I really enjoy these. Shout out to Lily Silk for sending over these pieces. I especially love the silk pillowcase. That is my favorite because I always sleep on silk pillowcases. So to have a really, really good quality one is just love it i'll be sure to link everything down below as well as the sizes that i got in the clothing and the pajamas but yeah definitely check them out you guys know i rave about some pillowcases so definitely go over there and get you some okay so now it is time to get ready i actually need to get in the shower first so i need to put my hair right back up um let me just go ahead and use one of these I actually need to go to Target, so whenever they open, because I have ordered some boob tape because I want my boobs to sit a certain way. So I ordered some boob tape from Target. And there we go. All right, I'm about to get in the shower and then I will see you guys when I get out so we can get ready together. I think I'm gonna do a quick unboxing as well because I bought myself something for my birthday. So, you know, we gotta unbox it, okay? Like, can y'all guess what it is? Mm. Anyways, oh, also I wanna unbox my um, 100K plaque with you guys as well because you guys helped me get there and I am literally blown away I have like 120,000 subscribers right now and I hit 100k like 
a week ago a week and a half was it two weeks i don't even know all the days mesh together i wouldn't even know what today was if i didn't have anything planned today honestly let's talk about that but like wow wow i'm just so grateful and i just i'm just so grateful <laughs> like i don't even Ooh, I don't even know girl like I just I'm so grateful all right I look crazy let's get in the shower and just get all this together cuz ooh, she looks crazy this it's my birthday like I can't be looking like this fresh out the shower so I have on my um silk pajamas that I just got but I don't know if I should wear this I'm about to do my makeup and I'm trying to beat my face okay like beat it down to the ground underground railroad beat down okay so i think i'm gonna take this all because i don't want to get makeup on it but it's cute though like let me show you so here are the pants Woo, girl so here's the pants definitely cute i wish they had pockets but i mean pajamas shouldn't have pockets right i don't know here's how they look and then oh this is how long they are they kind of hiked up because i just lift my leg up but they pretty much hit like right here and then the top super cute so if you like tuck it in i feel like it'll look cuter like so i definitely need to iron it but you know you get the gist and then the sleeve this is so cute i love this okay that's more like it i'm gonna put y'all on my big tripod so that you guys can see me a little better when i'm doing my makeup and my hair people were so surprised that i slept in a sports bra and some shorts um in my morning routine but like y'all i'm literally a whole little boy like i just get cute i just like getting cute But yeah, I be chilling y'all in the house. I be dressed like somebody's son. Okay, there we go. Much better. I have you guys on my... I got this tripod from Amazon. I also got this little one from Amazon too. All of them are in my Amazon store. I know a lot of people have been asking me about this one specifically. But um, I've gotten questions about this one in the past. So everything is on my Amazon store. It's always, always in my description box, you guys. Always. It's also in my Instagram bio like the link in the bio it's always there if you want to know how i got the link in my bio to list a bunch of things i use lnk.bio so if you go to that like literally lnk.bio and then search it'll pop up and then you can also do that i really recommend it for like creators and stuff or business owners it's a really good um thing to use for your bio all right i'm just going to tap my edges real quick because they got a little fuzzy last night because i was sweating again even though i had the air on i turned the air on uh last night when i had got my shot i didn't put the air on that night because i didn't think i was gonna sweat like when i was asleep i really didn't but i woke up drenched so i put the air on tonight just in case and i still was like sweating a little bit so just rolling my little edges and i don't have it on a high heat either i literally have it on a pretty low heat i'm just trying to knock these little like fuzz out of my edges pretty much and in my kitchen whoo that's the real culprit she is looking crazy my hair color looks so good oh my gosh my hairstyles is bomb if you want to see me get ready for my birthday like everything that i did my nails my toes my hair uh what else did i do in that video i went shopping to find an outfit all that good stuff go to the previous video on my channel and I did like a whole birthday prep vlog where you guys can see me get ready for today pretty much. Everything's all good, nice and flat and back to looking how it needs to look. Ugh. Ooh, I just love my hair. It's just beautiful, like wow, look at this color so gorgeous she really did that i'm like on a natural high today y'all so please excuse me like i'm basically naturally drunk before i even take a sip of the mimosa like i'm just excited okay so for my hair i'm gonna have to focus so i'm gonna mute this blast some music i'll probably put some music on the video as well but basically what i want to do is a ponytail and two pieces right here but for me to get it perfect i really cannot talk like I have to focus so you guys will see pretty much what i'm doing um it'll be self-explanatory i promise Just to back it up, you can hold my eyes. Uh, uh. Now let's say you go there, say what's your price. Uh-huh. Just to back it up, you can hold my eyes. Uh-huh. Now let's say you go there, say what's your price. Uh-huh. Just to back it up, you can h
hair. I did a fishtail braid. I was thinking because I don't like want it to poof up or anything. So let me just braid it down so that I'm basically in the clear. I feel like this is too bumped. Here we go. But yeah, so I wanted to do a braid because I didn't want it to like poof up or anything because we are on the rooftop. So we outside, so you know, I ain't take no chances. So I felt like a fishtail braid would be really cute and different, you know, real summery. And then I left my two pieces out because you know. <laughs> so I just feel really cute. Yeah, I like this. I use a little bit of hairspray to hold the um, hair like in place and stuff as far as like right here. Um, I guess I should spray a little hairspray on the braid, but yeah, just a little bit. Here we go. Just so that it doesn't get like too messy throughout the day, but I really actually do like a um, messy fishtail braid. So I'm hoping that it gets a little messy. Not too crazy though, but you know, just enough. And then boom. So now I'm going to do my makeup. And again, I'm going to focus because it is. 10.05, I need to leave at 11.30, so I got an hour and a half, so I need to do my makeup, then I need to unbox this stuff with y'all. I also need to film my unboxing of the things that I got myself for my birthday, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I need to hurry up. So, I'm gonna go ahead and mute this again, put some music over this, blast my music, and just, you know, rock out. So, hopefully you guys don't mind that I'm not talking to you, but, I'm trying to get it done, girl, okay? I'm trying to get this face on point. really quick i kind of need to hurry up a little bit it is 10 56 i'm trying to leave at like 11 30 11 40 sunny's actually coming to uber with me i was kind of scared because nobody wanted to like uber with me and i was like i want to get like kidnapped on my birthday so yeah girl we're gonna see sunny miss tia in just a second um, I don't think I'm gonna put my lip gloss on right now. I think I'm gonna wait. Yeah, okay, so let's um I wanna unbox those two things with you guys, so let's do that. Not me hitting the wall like I really know what I'm doing anyways. <laughs> Alright, so these two things I'm going to unbox with you guys. And let me do my plaque first. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is insane. I look good, bitch. Here it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. I'm scared. Like, is it right at the front when you open it? Or, I don't know, girl. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's not. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's nothing here. Oh, I got a little letter. What is this? Go ahead, Rick. This award was inspected and packaged 
with great care by Rick. Shout out to Rick, okay? Shout out to you, boo. And then there's a letter. I don't want to move it because it's like right under this letter. My heart is beating so fast. Oh my gosh. It says some 100,000 subscribers. Just how far have you come? If each of your subscribers were a light year, they could take you from one side of the Milky Way to the other. That's far. And it's why today we're so excited to celebrate your special YouTube journey with you. Not only have you brought a unique voice and style to the world, you also created valuable connections and built a community along the way. Oh my gosh. I just did my makeup. Don't cry, bitch, please. In that spirit, YouTube is proud to present you with the Silver Creator Award, which celebrates your hard work and incredible achievement. Congratulations on this amazing milestone. Just one of the many that we hope to follow. Oh, wait. Just what? Just one of the many that we hope will follow. There we go. In the future. After all, there are countless others out there who have yet to discover your passion and dedication, whether they come to your channel to learn something new or just for a laugh, a whole new audience is waiting for you to inspire them just as your growing community continues to inspire you. We can't wait to see what you do next and we'll be with you every step of the way. Yours sincerely, Susan something. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but she is the CEO of YouTube. Shout out is a woman. Who is the CEO of YouTube? I know that's right. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm pretty, I don't know if this letter is like generic or anything, but low key, this hits. Like this letter hits because this is literally, you know, like it just rings so true. So I don't know if it's generic, but whoever made this generic ass letter did a damn, damn good job. All right. It's under this letter. I'm about to freak out. My hands are like shaking right now. Oh my gosh, shut up. What did my name spell wrong? <laughs> oh my gosh, it is so, I know y'all see that name on there, period. Wow, what is this? Recognize your team, I'm shaking right now. Share the recognition by allowing your team to purchase a personalized creator award. Oh my gosh, so you can like, if you have a manager or an editor or anybody, you can also give them one two look at it it's so cute i mean you know you see that cake with cake on here you know what i'm saying like wow oh my gosh this is so cool and this looks like really good quality like they would oh you can hang it so they even put the little things in the back right here so you can hang it oh baby you getting hung i don't know where though but it's going somewhere up in here i need to figure out where really we can go right there y'all thank you so much this is such a like the perfect birthday present i really didn't think this was gonna come before uh my birthday because they was tripping lucky but uh-uh what's that uh-uh rick i thought you inspected this i know that's wrong anyways i think Oh, it's like sticky. I think it'll come off uh, if I wipe it down. But yeah, shout out to you guys for making this happen. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm just so happy. This makes me happy. It just goes to show that hard work does pay off. And even if you're down some days and you feel like you're not doing enough, even if you come and bounce back, like that is still worth something. Because let me tell you how many times I done fell off. Let me tell you how many times I wasn't uploading. How many times... I was kind of emotional and I let my emotional and personal things get in the way of work. And I felt like, wow, maybe all this stuff is like why I'm not growing and why I'm not really, you know, progressing. But once I bounce back and I put in that hard work and I upload three times a week and all that good stuff, you know what I mean? Like the recognition will come. So even if it's slow, even if it's not as fast as you think it will, even if it's not as fast as other people, which you should never compare yourself, but it's natural. People will compare themselves to other people. Just, you know, your time will come. So I'm just, I'm just really excited about this. So, <laughs> okay, period. Okay, so you guys know for my 100K gift to myself, I bought myself a Balenciaga bag. You know what I'm saying? So I got myself, is there anything on here? No. I got myself something else. Can you guess what it is? It's not Balenciaga. Dang, I really wanted to film an unboxing of this. I'm gagging right now. Oh my God. Ooh, they gave me some stickers. Can y'all tell what it is? Can you tell? Okay, and then also, 
they gave me this right here. So it is a, from Jacques Moose. And I love their little card that says Mercy on it. So I got this also when I got my Jacques Moose book and they gave me one of those. So this is just like the receipt and everything. I got this straight from the Jacques Moose website, by the way. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm saying it, so you know. <laughs> Y'all, look at this. Oh my gosh. Do, 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 do. Wow, I really deserve like the freaking world. And it's insane that I'm able to give myself the fucking world. Wow, literally like back in the day, I was like, wow, like how do people make all this money? Like how do they do this, how do they do that? And it's not about money at all, but it's just the fact that I'm able to provide for myself the lifestyle that I saw myself living. And now that I'm in this lifestyle, I see myself living a totally bigger lifestyle that I'm manifesting. Like I manifested this lifestyle so many years ago because I just knew I deserved it. You know what I mean? So let me not, my makeup is done, girl. you can't cry. So open it and this is how it looks. I need to be able to like wrap this back neat for the unboxing video, but yes. Okay. Ooh, wee. I know that's right. Look at this. So this is the Le Grand Bambino. So this is the bigger version because it still look like a mini bag. You guys know I love small bags. I hate a big bag. Like what am I gonna do with that? It's gonna be a lot of space and opportunity in that bag and I ain't got nothing to fill it up. Like I just like smaller bags. I don't carry around much. So this is the vibe. So this is what it looks like. It does have crossbody strap. I'm pretty sure it's inside. It better be inside. Ooh, I like the like magnetic thing. Oh yeah, it's right here. So here's the strap and little paper inside. And then what's this? I think it's just the tag or authentic, I can never say that word, authentic, authentication, right? Oh, I sound dumb. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Le Grand Bambino in white. And like I said, again, this is the bigger size. So if you see a bag like this and it says Bambino, it's not this one. You have to get the Le Grand Bambino. So you can like actually fit stuff in there because Jock Moose is famous for having these tiny ass bags. So here's how it looks inside. Pretty like, I don't want to say spacious because it's small but i can feel like my like everything i carry my phone my wallet some hand sanitizer my keys my camera yeah it's a pretty good size bag so i think i'm gonna wear this today oh and also it's cheaper straight from the jacques Moose website but if you can't find it there try um essence or farfetch then you'll be able to probably find this bag but this bag was sold out for a little minute finally this came back in stock and I was playing no games. Literally like two minutes later, I had already checked out. I was not playing, okay? So yes, I got this one and it is so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so I put on the like tape or whatever and I feel like it kind of make a difference, but that on here, it don't make no difference. Um, Maybe I didn't put it on right. I'll show you guys like how I kind of have it like off to the side here, just in case you know. I'm gonna do a little slight off the shoulder moment. And I got this belt from H&M. It's actually not this, like it had like a whole little gold, like little circle on it, but I like took that out. I basically deconstructed the whole belt. So I'm gonna link it down below, but that's, it's gonna look different because I took the little gold piece off and now I just have this. And actually I'm glad I have this shaper on because I'm bloated. Like why the heck did I work out Try to get skinny for my birthday, just for me to be bloated as hell, like, really. But this is kind of what it's giving y'all. Let me come down so y'all can see. This is pretty much how my picture gonna be, cause I was like, oh baby, I'm showing some legs, so. Okay, and then with the bag, I feel like this needs to be tighter. I should've got the longer one, but it's cool. So, okay, boom. So with the bag, right, right? Do you see the vision? Do you see the vision? So you guys saw that I got these shoes. Well, I showed them on my Instagram um, story. I was gonna wear these. I feel like these are so bomb with this. I tried it on and also it kind of matches the belt. 
like they're both off white color and then the bag is white so maybe i don't know if i should wear this or not but it's cute though all right y'all this is the vibe i'm going for so little leg out boom like this is this cute i don't know is am i gonna be too hot though it's linen so it's like a very lightweight fabric but i don't know because i really want this leg to be popping out i shaved these thighs for a reason okay this is the vibe this is cute i really like these heels though they're so cute okay <laughs> let me finish getting ready y'all and then i will see y'all when this tummy gets here <laughs> All right, y'all, we're here. Well, we're walking up to the restaurant. Say hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> so, yeah. It's super pretty out here. It is very beautiful. Did you show them your outfit? Yes. Okay, okay. I showed them me all frantic getting dressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to have a hot girl summer. 100%. Okay. Get into us. Vlogger, do you? Good to have like everybody that I love just in one place. I'm like coming down off of a high right now. Um, 
they brought me gifts as well like this is insane let me put you guys on my tripod really quick oh actually let me show you what i changed into because it was hot okay it was on the rooftop and i had brought like a shirt to change into but no pants so i just made my dress into a skirt <laughs> So this is pretty much what I, so I brought this top right here and then I made the dress into a skirt. So, you know, we had to make it do what it do. I also put the belt one as well. Now I'm about to change because some of my friends invited me to a hookah bar as well to celebrate my birthday. So I'm about to change and get ready to do that. Y'all, these Zara heels are actually really comfortable. I was talking to, um, jessica style by jay marie and she was saying that these heels were comfortable and i was like okay cool like i'm gonna wear them for my birthday so like i can really test them out and she was right okay she was so right so yeah that was really really good we went to this place called wilson hardware if you've never been before the rooftop is really really cute um surprisingly there it was packed like it was very very busy um but i'm not mad at it though so i didn't really get any more I didn't really get any pictures for real like I really wanted to but it's okay um I think I'm gonna put this outfit back on honestly Woo! when you take that shaper off it's like taking your bra off for real okay actually it's probably better than taking your bra off can we talk about how my makeup lasted throughout the heat though that's that milk hydro grip and also the urban decay um setting spray the all-nighter setting spray so good and my braid didn't get too messy so i don't have to do really much anything to my hair i see like maybe blot a little bit right here but that's pretty much it also i kind of got some mascara so i need to freshen up just a little bit so i got this shirt from zara and i showed you guys me kind of searching for this i think i want to wear this with like some black jeans and i don't know I don't know what shoes I should wear. Cause we just go into a hookah bar. So like, I don't want to wear heels. Oh, I do have black flats. Oh my God, perfect. I have this top from Zara. I could barely get this off. So if you see me in this for the rest of my life, then that's just that. Cause I probably won't be able to get it off. It was so hard to get one. I got this in a size medium. I guess I should have gotten a large, I don't know. But the opening for the zipper right here is just super tiny. Like if the zipper is like this short. So it's kind of hard to get on and off, but whatevs. And I'm wearing these jeans from Boohoo. I had to like tuck them up on the ankle. I think I'm gonna readjust them because they kind of do look stupid. But I just like tucked them up really quick to just see what they would look like. Uh, and then also my Jacquemus bag. I love this bag, it's so cute. Boom, so I'm gonna be wearing that. Doop. in the fucking hookah bar and this guy smacked the shit out of this one girl oh my gosh we got out of there so fast you have got to be kidding me you have got to be kidding me this guy literally smacked the dog shit out of one of the people that work at the hookah bar and we were all as soon as that happened like everybody was like oh hell no like it i don't even know how it started but i guess they had like a rooftop or something like that and some something happened on the rooftop they all busted out of the door like tons of people busted out of the door and they were like some girl was like fighting somebody the security guard was holding her and she was like i just want my phone i just want my phone and then i don't even know what happened but this dude 
he like got involved when he was literally chilling on the whole other side of the hookah bar and i'm like what is going on so he like jumped in it i don't even know what the heck happened with him but he jumped in it and then all of a sudden now he's like fighting everybody so i'm like what the heck is going on like you wasn't even in it you was all the way over there y'all and then he pushes up on like some guys they wasn't really having it he wasn't swinging on them or anything but then he pushes up on one of the freaking hookah bar employees and he backs her down into a corner into one of the booths like into one of the little booths that they have that you could sit in and like smoke or whatever and he going like this like like going like that like bucking at her with his hand out and he smacked the shit out of her like y'all oh my gosh so disrespectful like i really cannot believe i experienced that like are you dead serious are you really smacking a female right now my heart was like beating out of my chest because i'm like no he did not just do that and the crazy part is our table was right in front of it was like front row seat to like all the chaos i really cannot believe he did that y'all like i just feel so bad for her and we couldn't even really leave at first like we could have easily just left as soon as we saw the shit like we could have left and i was telling my best friend i was like let's just go let's just go but she was like no like the from literally like the the door over here to the door over here mind you our table was right in the middle of the shit it was just a bunch of shit going on and he smacked that girl right next to the door to get out so it was just like the the pathway to get out of there was just fights like oh my gosh oh my god as soon as like there was a clear like pathway we slipped the fuck out because like oh my goodness y'all i'm home and i'm still thinking about that like he really hit her like hard like like she was a whole dude i really pray for women and i really just sympathize with us because it's really stuff like this going on like not even just him hitting her but it's women being like sex trafficked it's women being kidnapped it's women being taken advantage of on a day-to-day -day basis and it's just so sad because it's like we're, we're supposed to be protected you know what i'm saying like we're really supposed to be protected and we're not and it's really men out here like that and it's disgusting like it's so disgusting and i just i feel so bad for her because she didn't even do anything like she did not even do anything to deserve that because you know like when it's a big fight and people are trying to like de-escalate and the people in the fight like everybody's angry you know what i'm saying so everybody's really just like gunning for whoever like they don't even give a fuck they gunning for whoever the hell touched them who they gunning for who i've been in you know situations like that where i'm just like look if you in my like eyesight you red and i'm the bull you know what i'm saying like but like a man should never like be like that towards a woman like i don't know it's just not cool but i'm home and yeah i'm about to go upstairs just chill i'll probably go to sleep to be honest what time is it it's 8 38 y'all wow all right y'all so it is the next day and it's like the end of the day it's like 11 30 right now i didn't really film that much today i was just like basically resting and stuff like that because girl yesterday had me tired like it wiped me out okay i don't really even like go out like that so me being out the entire day like girl i was tired just washed up tired like really just resting the entire day and also like editing some videos and stuff also y'all remember the guy that i was telling y'all about last night when he was like you know he hit the girl I knew I recognized him from somewhere and I'm not gonna like blast nobody because y'all know I don't do that but all I'm gonna say is he's like well known in the DMV and I was looking at him like dang he looks familiar but you know when you see somebody in person they just don't it, it doesn't really click in your head at first but yeah he's like very well known in the DMV and like is that how you moving out here um like y'all respect that oh okay y'all can have that y'all go ahead okay but now i know so yeah that was just like super unfortunate 
um situation that i experienced that is just so crazy y'all i know i keep like saying it's so crazy but it really is because it was just like such a sad situation but um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video that's pretty much the end of this video just because i'm not doing anything and i really thought i was going to do something today but i woke up and was like yeah no it's not happening so today that i'm uploading this vlog is actually my birthday so today may 4th on tuesday the day that i'm uploading this is my birthday right now it's monday so i'm uploading this tomorrow so technically when you're watching it it's tuesday so we just gonna say it's tuesday but yeah it is my birthday your girl is 26 okay i need to go find some health insurance i'm so proud of like where i am right now it just feels so good y'all like, it just feels so good turn 26 get older recognize that you're getting older and also just feeling like you're in a good space as well because as you get older i feel like the worry to have your shit together just gets even worse so like i just feel i just feel really good right now like i was i was you know i was panicking for the last couple years because i was like oh my god i need to get my shit together but now that i finally have it together like i feel great like this is it and also there's no rush to having your shit together by the way or by a certain age or anything but i'm just saying for me it just feels good to like come up on your birthday and then reflect and be like wow you're doing pretty good for yourself like you gotta give yourself flowers sometimes so yeah i just want to pop in and give you guys a little outro and let you guys know that i love you so much also if you guys want to shop lily silk or the silk pillowcases that i showed you earlier definitely do that they will be linked down below in the description box so make sure you check that out i'm gonna go ahead and go go get in the bed wrap this hair up and tomorrow my sister's actually coming over so that'll be in the next vlog y'all okay that might be going up on saturday so stay tuned but yes my sister's coming over and we're gonna have some tacos it's gonna be good it's gonna be cute so stay tuned for the next vlog and i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video peace